What's up guys, today we're going to do a review of the Apple credit card. Quick disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Before we consider anything, if you don't have Apple products or don't plan on getting Apple products, this is definitely not going to be the card for you because some of the features you need to have Apple products or buy Apple products. As far as the pros of this card go, there's no membership fees, there's 0% intro APR, there's decent reward weights if you use Apple products, and there's no foreign transaction fees. There's unfortunately no initial reward bonus, and it has high regular APRs. As far as the daily cash rewards go, if you use this card, you get 1% cash back on everything. If you put this card on your iPhone and use Apple Pay, you'll get 2% back on everything you use Apple Pay for. Now, the biggest perk of this product is that you get 3% back on all Apple products. This includes things purchased directly through Apple and things on the App Store. There's also a few large merchants that you get 3% cash back on like Exxon and Nike. So is this card worth it? The only scenario I really see this card being worth it is if you buy a lot of Apple products. I think for the most part, a lot of these people get these cards because it's kind of a statement. For one, this is a titanium card and it's supported through Goldman Sachs. And it's kind of like the cool new card on the market. I think for the most part, this card's not worth it for most people because you only get 1% cash back when you use this card and 2% when you use an Apple Pay. I think there's a lot of other credit cards out there that offer similar benefits that are even better. I think when I got this card, I was not properly educated. And if I knew what I knew now, I probably would not have gotten it because I would have used a different option. I, st I still hold on to this card because it's no annual fee and I do occasionally buy Apple products. But I think if you're not regularly using Apple Pay and you're not regularly buying Apple products, it's definitely not gonna be the card for you. It's a decent card, not great, but it is pretty cool. Subscribe for more business and finance content. Thank you for watching.